Good morning, adventurers. My name is Raymond, and I will be your nature guide today. Do you have any questions? Are there bears in these woods? I do not know. What's the history of this trail? Anybody else? What should I do after high school? Yes, love it. Let's talk it out. It's not just about what you'll be doing next fall. You're choosing a path for your entire future. Yikes. One option is to further your education. That can mean college, university, trade school, online courses, apprenticeships, workshops, or anything in between. Further education feels like a logical next step. And in general, it does give you access to higher paying jobs. Uh Uh-huh. Great. College it is. But degrees can be pricey. When you factor in tuition, student loans, and interest, you're looking at a major debt decision that you'll likely be paying for long after you've graduated. But going to school will allow me to make more money in the long run. So it balances out, right? Possibly. But it's more than just an economic comparison. You have to consider the time investment and the dedication required. It means asking yourself if you're motivated enough by the outcome to give years of your life toward education. When you put it that way, I'm not so sure. Another option is to work after high school and start making money right away. Without tuition or student loans to pay for, your money can go toward other experiences and savings goals. That sounds kind of cool. It gives you real exposure to an industry and can help you discover whether or not it's something you're truly passionate about. You can pick up some practical skills, and your work experience may even lead to future employment opportunities. But work experience can only take you so far. Depending on the industry, you may need formal education or other training to advance beyond a certain point. Well, now I feel even more lost. Look, you may think your path needs to look something like this, but it'll probably end up looking more like this. And every path has obstacles. A fear of failure, a lack of direction, the expectations of family and friends, financial stress. Can't I just avoid them? Not entirely, but if you're well equipped, you won't lose your footing. Getting to know yourself is a good start. What are your strengths and limitations? What do you want out of life? Next, feed your curiosity. What careers are you interested in and how can you really explore those areas? Then design a path that gives you both flexibility to adapt and the opportunity to explore. A career counselor or coach can be a helpful guide. That makes sense. Thanks. Of course. Any other questions? Uh, yeah. Is this nature hike still on? Because everybody's gone. Ugh, not again. This always happens. What kind of trees are these? I have no idea. 